Oh, I'm too deployed. <laughs> too hot, ain't you? <laughs> Making things and noises. Okay, so we're going to start it off. Um, where are you originally from? I am, okay, I was born in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, and then I was raised in New York. So what, what, what um, age did you come to the States? When I was two. You was two? Mm -hmm. So you don't really know nothing about the islands, then you pretty much all New York. Basically, pretty much all New York. Okay, well, it's a lot of um, islanders in New York, so you didn't pick it up then, or it, it, you just went to, you tried to talk like the people in the States, or you didn't even realize it? No, my accent really only comes out around my family, because I grew up around it, so it just comes out around my family. Okay. So, um, I guess give me a traumatic experience um, you had as a child that you could remember. Um, okay, so when I was about 12, I was with my father and his wife, and we had, my sister from Florida was, up, was visiting us in New York, so we had this hot tub in the house. Unbelievable. So um, my sister in Florida actually broke the pipe and water was just everywhere. My father literally beat me from the from the hot tub all the way into the kitchen. I hit underneath the table, into the bedroom. I hit underneath the I hit underneath the um, bed in the bathroom. Like I was just trying to hide everything possible. So y'all got beat a lot? Not a lot. Oh, That's what's up. That's what I like well, I mean, you can, uh, you still can get beat up. I bruised too easy. So, okay, so, um, <laughs> give me the, um, biggest accomplishment you had, like, in the industry so far. Um, let me see. Any accomplishment, anything that I do basically is accomplishment to me, because I didn't really come down here to do this. So what did you come down here for? Just to get away from abusive relationships. Okay, so let's talk about this abusive mm -hmm. relationship. So how long was you with this bum ass nigga who was hitting you? Okay, so I'm not gonna call him a bum. Okay, speak highly of him. Because he is, because he is the father of my child. Okay. So he's a good father, but relationship wise, we just wasn't gonna work. Okay. Because he had a hand problem. So what's what's so good about him? Uh, he's a great father. father. He's a good father. Like I can't take that away from the relationships. Me and him just can't do it. Okay, so why? He, so what? He was one of them guys who who beat you because you didn't cook good or no? He, he just had on him. no. He just had built up anger. Some people don't know how to express their anger properly, so that's what he did. He was like six foot two. He was a football player. A pro? He was used to be pro. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Orlando Owens. Oh, I never heard of him. <coughs> So, um, do y'all still talk now or like? Yeah, he's the father of my child. I mean, I don't mean y'all talk. You saying it like it's obvious. I mean, no, I'm saying he's a good, that's why I said he's a good father for relationships. We just can't do it. I'm saying he could take care of the child and still not talk to you. That's what I'm saying. But, you know. No, he has to talk to me because, you know. Okay, so, um, so your parents, they, they was together or they was like? It was like stepdad, his stepmom type of stuff. No, my father was a Rolling Stone. My papa was Rolling Stone. So my mother was the second baby mother he had. So I had a sister that was one year, literally one year ahead of me. Her middle name was my first name. My middle name is her first name. So, uh, so you kind of like guys who, um, like the ladies man type of guys, you like those kind mm -hmm. of guys? No. So what do you usually go for then? What's the your personality. Because everybody that I date, is, every single one of them look different. So it's basically their personality and the person that they are. Okay, so are you single now? Yes. Okay, so you looking for a man or what, what you looking for? Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so... um. I'm gonna give you like a few names and I want you to say um, my nigga before it, either they a real one or they a fuck nigga. So, um, okay. Okay, so uh, your dad. 
He's a real one. Million dollar hair fade. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is. He is a real one to a certain extent. But I ain't gonna call him a fuck nigga though. You scared? Okay, I guess. No, I'm. I'm not. I'm just not gonna call him a fuck nigga. Okay, fly tie. He's a real one. Your key is father. Real one. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. I guess you picked him pretty good, man. Okay, so <laughs> would you prefer a guy be? Would you prefer a guy to love you or a guy to uh, be loyal to you? Mm. Loyalty. And have you found it in a guy, and it still just didn't work out? I have. And whose one was this? Um, it was my first husband. Oh, you been married? I didn't know you been married. Mm -hmm. How long you been married for? <laughs> I've been married twice. I've married twice. The first marriage was three years. The second one was two years. And why? Why? What happened, y'all? Like y'all was cheating, or no? The first one we just didn't. Um, We moved from New York to Florida, and I think he was still dealing with, he was still dealing with the death of his kid's mother. So he had a lot of, um, what can I say? He, had, he wasn't done grieving as of yet. So don't you think extra, like, Don't you think that's supposed to bring you closer to somebody? No, no. It, it, it pulls you apart? Sometimes, if the person doesn't know how to grieve right, it pulls you apart, because I was engaged, what, two years ago, right before my grandmother got mur murdered. And um, during that time of me grieving, like me and my fiance, we just, we just grew apart. Cause it totally changed you. Yeah, it did change me, it did. So are you like more evil towards me? No, I mean, I try not to be, cause I have a men's mentality at times, but you know, whatever he gives me, I get back. So, um, <laughs> so you got a man mentality, so you kind of like know how to mess around with a dude and not, don't catch feelings, you, you can do that? It depends on the intimacy. What, what you mean? Because if, if, if the sex is horrible, then there's no feelings to catch. Okay, you gotta be good. You gotta be good. Okay. So, um, do you think being fake can get you further in the industry? No. You really think that? Because it seems like being fake, fake it gets you far. No. Because the people that I'm around are all real people, they're loyal people, and they're committed people. So, if you're fake, then that means I can't trust you. And if I can't trust you, I can't do business with you. So I'm not going to send anybody away. Okay, so what 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 makes you want to work with an artist? Um, their passion for the music, their drive, how much they in, want to invest in their self. And that's basically about it. Okay, so how much the artist need to, um, so how much would an artist have, I mean, need to invest to where you like, oh, I need to fuck with him because he's trying to uh, invest this money. So how much money would you think? I, I really don't, I'm the type of person I really don't put a price on it at all times, and I really don't. Like, I literally do a lot of stuff for a lot of artists for little or nothing, because not everybody has a big budget. But they do need that one person or somebody to help them and to guide them along the way, so I'm that person. And what, what exactly do you do? What 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 does an artist, what, what, okay, what benefits do an artist get from, like, fucking with you, like, if you, they, what you a manager, right? I manage, I'm an AR, I do everything. You're an AR for who? Holly, Holly, let me get it right. Hollywood Entertainment. That's a label or like a, a marketing firm? Or it's a label. Okay, so so you can get an artist right now and go get a time? Mm -hmm. she, just, she, just, she actually just put it together right now, a showcase. The, um, the, um, the showcase is going to be in June. It's going to be at the atrium. It's going to be a $10,000 giveaway and a record deal for Sony. What's the deal? 
how much is it? Because a lot of people be giving these bullshit deals. Like, I think a single deal is supposed to be like three hundred thousand. Now they offer like one hundred and fifty thousand. So how much is it? You know? I'm not sure exactly. We just started putting it together the other day. Okay. So if an artist came to you like out of nowhere and said, "Hey, I want a deal." Like, would you just charge them something since you don't manage them? Or like? Well, I would point them in the right direction to go to someone so they can get the deal. Make sure they have to make sure everything. See, the one thing a lot of artists don't realize is they have to make sure everything is straight from the jump, from your paperwork to your bio, the little things that they need. That's what I need to make sure that's in place first by central or anybody else. So, would you charge them to do all that? Yeah. Um, how much you charge for that? For what? To bio and everything? Yeah, to get everything together to take them to It depends on what they have done, what they don't have done. Like some, some artists, like I just wrote a bio the other day for an artist and I was like, you don't have a, you don't have a bio yet? And he was like, no, I don't. I said, okay, like you've been rapping for years, but okay. Some of them don't even have their music registered. So it just depends. So is there anyone in the industry who created a beat with you and it was just kind of like out of nowhere for no reason? No. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. so we're going to, I'm going to ask you about this drama with uh, me and Dr. Hefe. Okay, so, so how did how did this come about? Like what actually happened? How did I notice this? I know. Because it was a big deal on the internet for both of y'all. Y'all kept posting it. You did like a hundred posts on it. <laughs> okay, correction. I didn't do a hundred posts. You did a I few posts on it. I did two. Okay. I did two. I did two. Um, do I want to talk about this or not? Of course you do. That's why you can't even get it off your chest. You feel me? So, um, it started because I actually, when I first met him, I actually, um, was going out to a couple of clubs with him once or twice. And then I saw someone make a, make a comment underneath one of his posts on my page. So I did some research and I found out it was his wife. And I reached out to her and I said to her, I said, listen, um, I'm working with your husband. That's how we just working. I'm working with your husband. I just want to introduce myself to you <coughs> because I am going to be posting him on my page. So I want you to know what female is posting your man. So she said, okay. And then. The conversation went from good to bad in 2.5 seconds. So me and in her mind, me and him was already fucking before we was fucking. So how did y'all meet anyway? I'm who me and me and Hefe. Yeah. Um, through his manager Ty. Okay. So how yeah they met? Well, how he just came to Atlanta and just got yeah, with Ty like uh, how did that work? He did. He moved here from North Carolina. Um, I think he performed at a showcase Ty song. And he told Ty what he was looking for. So they've been working together ever since. Okay. So um, the drama, I mean, we didn't really talk about it. So, like, well, how did the drama come about? Like, what? the drama, the drama. The drama came about because you have a situation where there's two people that want to be together, two people that don't want to be together. And then you have him in the middle where he's not too sure of what exactly he wants to do. He wants to do right by his family, but he also wants to have peace of mind. So it was like too much back and forth. You know, one man one man messing with two women at the same time. Oh, so you cool with that? You... No. So what, what, you had to make them choose or something? Or? No, it's not making them I never make them choose. I mean, I tell them, you're going to go back, you're going to go back. If you miss your wife, you miss your wife. If you're gonna be here, you're gonna be here, but there's no back and forth. Okay, so so we was talking, right? Mm -hmm. And I was married, like you just wanna break it out with me, you still just you'll just say choose kinda. Like, no, because if you was in a if you was in a good relationship, if you was in a good relationship then I wouldn't I wouldn't pursue I, I mean you can't you don't really know if it's good because you know me and be lying, so very true, but no. Mm -hmm. So, um, she never, was she trying to fight you or like, um, she, she actually to... followed me from the club one night. You got scared? Yeah, it was like two, three o'clock in the morning and I saw a car in my rear view mirror and I'm like, why does this car keep stopping like five feet behind me? Get on the highway, driving, I'm on 75, 
car is still following me. I'm going through lanes, car still following me. I'm like, okay. So, I don't get it. Stink. Yeah. You just burped. Yeah, it does kind of look like <laughs> <laughs> So, um, then she texted me and told me that it was basically her following me. So, yeah, I was scared. I yeah. go home by my, I go home by myself. You got a gun? You know, for what? For the niggas who do that, she told me shit. You need something? No. You, get the, you should get one like a 38 or something. Just for that, that you will feel safer. Like, you probably wouldn't have felt no kind of way if you had it on. I'm just letting you know. Like, put it in your lap, you feel safe. You want to be. Okay, so, um, well, you already said you was in an abusive relationship. So, that was the only one you've been in? Abusive relationship? Yeah. No, I've been in, um, actually been in a couple. So why do you think they beat you up? Like, what do you, what do, you do? Like, it's, it's, they, it's just them? Why are they what I do? I'm saying because, you know, some women talk crazy. It ain't just, some men don't just beat you up. Some women call the you The way that you. I am is the way that they meet me. Like, you I, just don't, cool. I, don't, I don't change at you, all. You, like, real passive and shit? Like, yeah, like, I'm not going to argue back with you. You cook all the time and all the time. I cook, I clean, but I'm not going to sit here and be cheated on, lied to, I'm not, that's not gonna happen. So, I mean, don't you think it'll be, it'll, it'll be good, like if you met a guy, and of course if he was like real successful, and you was the man, and he just messed with a girl here and there, you, you don't wanna do that, it's too much. It's too much, for what? You wanna be with a successful man, right? Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta deal with that. No, I don't. So you think, no, you think all successful men don't cheat? I'm not saying all successful men don't cheat, but at the end of the day, if you're gonna cheat, then you don't need to be in a relationship, just date. Oh, I'm just saying all successful men cheat. No, they don't. You think so? Why would you say that? Why would you Why would you as a man say all successful men cheat? Because if um, that's what you see, that's, that's what it is. You see all men in the world cheat? All the ones I see, they cheat, so all the successful men I know cheat. No. See, I'm sticking up for the men. All men don't cheat. So, um, so when the last time you had a relationship with a female? Damn. Jesus. <sighs> Let me see. What's this? 2021. 2020. Uh, so who was it? It was an artist? No, it wasn't. Uh, who was it? It was a person that I met. That I met. Of course I know that. You just say I, I You say I want to tell you. Because you don't know her, so it doesn't matter. I might. I know, I know you people. Don't, you, don't know, you don't know her. Know a lot of thighs right here? She's not a thigh. Well, female, you want to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's right. All women don't cheat. All women don't cheat? I don't want that baby cheated. You might be dating the wrong ones. Okay, man. That's what you think. Okay, so um, the fakest thing an artist, an ex, and a promoter has done to you. The fakest thing? Yeah. Mm, I don't have one. Okay, so what's what's the craziest thing like a um, a person has talked you into doing? No, I can talk into doing anything. So you just okay, good. Okay, so what's um uh, matter of fact, you ever had an abortion before? Damn, have you had an abortion before? Um, I can't have no abortion. I mean, that's I I I wouldn't do that. I'm a good person. I wouldn't kill nobody. So, what about you? You ever um killed a baby before? I don't think that's anybody's business. What goes on inside of my body, my ovaries, and you know, if I decided to have one or if I didn't decide to have one. So that sounded like yeah, then. No. Usually people say hell no. I mean, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. Right? I'm just saying because you getting real, real personal. Right? That's what my interview is about. Because uh -uh. I'm sure you got fans out like, here. You know, you're real pretty. So niggas is they be on you and be like, but I but know people what don't come up to me and be like, Kimmy, how many abortions have you had? Of course, not nobody in the streets, but okay. if you, you talk to niggas like me, we ask all this shit. We want to know, like, what's making your mind tick and, like... How many girlfriends have you had? 
how many girls have you had have you been in a relationship with that they've had an abortion? Um, see everybody trying to flip it over me. Um, I'm just saying you asked me the question. I, I can answer yeah. that. Um, if let me see, just one. I, I mean, it's one did it, but I didn't have no influence. But you know how sometimes I live with girls and y'all would be breaking up and they'll be like, "Oh, if I'm pregnant, I'm gonna kill it." I'd be like, "I'm doing fuck this. Do what you want to do." How many girls have told you that they were pregnant? Um. Um, maybe like five, I guess. How many kids do you have? I don't have no biological kids. I got one about my ex. She calls me daddy. Oh, okay. So, I'm just asking. It's, it ain't in my blood. <laughs> <clears throat> it ain't in the um, stars yet for me to have some, so. And how old are you? I don't tell my age. I'm old, though, but. What's old? Ooh. It's a 64. Really we'll go with that then. Thirty-four. We'll go over there. You're thirty-four. If that's what he's saying. How old is he, baby? You don't know. <laughs> I never told. Mm. How old are you? I'm forty at the end of the month. Okay. So what's he gonna do? You just still have kids, right? Damn. Yes. Oh, that's what he's saying. If you want to, you think you'll have another one? No, I will not. If you met like a successful guy, he was like, I just want one. I'm good. Adopt. Okay. I got three. Okay. So, um, okay, what advice would you give to a female who want to be in this business? To always keep her head on her shoulder and don't fall for anything. Okay. So, what's what's some of the best game you can get about the uh, industry? Everyone can't be trusted. Okay, so... What's the best game you could give a woman on how to keep a man? You can't give nobody advice on how to keep their, their spouse. Like, you can't, everybody's different. So, so you would say like, make sure you give it up all the time, like that should keep stress down? Or no, because maybe like some people don't like to have sex every day. Of course not every day, but it need to be like a, a least amount of times, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, <laughs> good. I think I think most guys can settle for like four times a week or something like that. Four That's times. the least. Oh, he's younger than you. He said four times. That's too much. I don't really know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. You think that's too much? No. Yeah, four times. Any time that day that you want to, like. Oh, okay. Okay, so. So nobody works if y'all if y'all have sex four times a day. Yeah, I, I work I work like six hours a week, and mm -hmm. I do a whole bunch of other shit that I can go. So mm -hmm. she should be able to go with one job, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> if I'm doing all this other shit and a full time with sixty hours, she should be able to go that many. Okay, so have you ever had a, a Me Too situation? Meaning? Huh? A me too. Yeah. Meaning, like somebody saying, um, "Give me the ass, and I can make this happen for you." Yes, I have. And who was it? None of your business. <laughs> you still talking to the person? Yeah, we cool. We do business together. Because it was one of the situations where I went to an event to do something, and the promoter didn't really know me. So he just saw my face and he saw me standing there by myself with a whole bunch of guys. So he was like, well, what do you do? And I told him, and he was like, okay, well, you know, let me get your number, we go out to eat. We can do this, that, and third. You know, I can help you with your career. Nah, I'm good. So what did he, he got like a label or he a promoter? He's a promoter. Promoter, he a big promoter? Mm-hmm. For who? None of your business. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. You gonna pull that on me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what was like the darkest moment in your life, and um, who had your back? And who what? Who had your back? Um, the darkest moment of my life was my grandmother passed, and um, my kids had my back, and I can't. I can say my fiance at the time he had my back too. He was trying. 
Okay. So what what do you fear the most um, besides God? Death. Okay. Okay. Um. I guess I'll get into some stuff. Okay. Well, the last time, matter of fact, you was here when the last guest was here, and she was saying, um, she was saying like if some, if you're doing business with somebody, and they say, hey, let's take this to my house. Do you feel like that's a red flag if a guy say, hey, let's go to my house and to handle some type of business? Or do you think that's cool? Well, nowadays, a lot of people are doing most of their business from their house, so you just never know. But if you're at a mutual, like say you're out, out at a restaurant or something, you could just sit right there and have a conversation. There's no need to, to even go to the house. But if you're not at the restaurant and he does need to go to the house, so that way you guys can finish conducting business, maybe there's something he wants to go to the office or something. You know, it doesn't always have to be the negative way. So you'll do it? You'll go to somebody else? I've done it before. And it was no problem? No problem. It was a man? Yeah. yeah. It Who was it? You were so nosy. So nosy. Okay, so okay, I'm sure you've been with guys, right? Mm -hmm. And you know how like a guy be like you with them and you really not like uh like somebody did that last week. Like I'm like, who was there? They was like, oh, she with me. Like has do guys do you like that? Because they don't want nobody to holler at you. No. Oh, they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's new. Then it seems like. I see a lot of guys do that for some reason. But do you feel like that's hating? If a guy do that? A little bit, yeah. Okay, um there was something else I was seeing on the internet. It was it was about a, a female who was spreading STDs on purpose. So do you <laughs> so you feel like it's her fault <laughs> or is <laughs> or is it the guy fault because he didn't wear a condom? It's both their faults. <laughs> it's both their faults. It's number one, why are you having sex with this female or a dog in it? And most females don't even have, most females that I've come across in Georgia don't even have, don't even have health insurance. So for a man to sit here and raw dog it, and then for a woman to just sit here and let him raw dog it and she knows she's burning, they both going straight to hell. Oh, you ever got burned before? No. Have you? Yeah, I don't have brown before. With what? Everything. Mm. Okay. Uh, With everything. You might want to elaborate on that one. Everything. I'm going to leave it at that. I, I've been brown with everything. Okay, so, um, okay, so the Atlanta police, they um, are looking to uh, hand out citations for, um, to the parents of the kids who are selling water and, like, hustling on the street corner. So do you think that's, like, wrong or, like, what you think about that? I actually think it's wrong because it well it depends because I see the I see what they're saying when some of these kids are too aggressive when they come to the cars and then especially when you go downtown by the Mercedes Benz Stadium there's kids on every single block so if you get the first block then the second block then the third block everybody wants water but the citation I don't think they should make them do citation it's the kids are hustling you can't get mad if they're trying to hustle right now. I mean, if they hustle legally, legally, that's kind of like messing up their system because they make a lot of money for locking us up in them juvenile detention centers and all that. So mm -hmm. you cutting into their money for real. Okay, so um, another story about like Blueface. He got like a lot of girls in bunk beds and they got to get tattoos and stuff like that. They got like a coat going? No, they got they, they his uh, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So what what do you think about that? Like, um, I mean, well, thinking about the R. Kelly shit, like, she, you think he should stay away from there, or he just should enjoy himself? Because look, look what happened to R. Kelly. But I mean, he making it, um, he making it like public, so I guess they shouldn't really, I guess, trip about it. Because R. Kelly, the stuff he was doing, it was kind of private, so maybe they won't have nothing to talk about. If he if he putting all that shit on camera and he basically showing them and they just speaking all happy like it, I, it'd be hard to kind of put a case on it if they want to make up some shit like he kidnapped us and he made us do this and that so 
He should be all right. If I be putting it on camera. It sounds like a cult. That's what it sounds like, a cult. No, when you're successful, girls, they gonna pretty much do anything. Mm -hmm. Still a cult. It sounds like a cult. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's about all I have for you. I mean, you didn't really answer a lot of questions. So, yeah, I mean, because you got extra, extra nosy and an extra, extra personal. Like, that's what it's me, about. But you asked me off the rip about abortions and boyfriends and extra stuff. So let me ask you. Let me ask you a couple questions. Okay. So let me turn this camera around. Ask me some real shit. Don't ask me no uh, Rudy Poo shit. Rudy Poo. Okay. So where first? Where are you from? Tuscaloosa, Westside. Okay. The Kings of Court Project. It's Alabama. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long you been in Atlanta? Since I was nine. What made you move to Atlanta? I was gonna do music. What made you decide that you wanted to do music in Atlanta? It, um, <clears throat> it was the only place that had a music scene that was close. The Tuscaloosa like two and a half hours <clears throat> away, so okay. I was like, I should go there. Mm -hmm. but they were trying to send me to Savannah, but um, it was a big place to go. Is that further out? Yeah. Okay, so are you in a relationship? No, actually, um, my last ex, he left while I was at work. <laughs> Every time I break up with somebody, <laughs> they leave while I'm at they're work. Dear, they dear John you? Uh, whatever that means. Yeah, they be gone. <laughs> when I get home, they be gone. They steal my shit, and I have to buy new towels and socks and all that kind of shit. They, but yeah, I ain't in a relationship. So why do they always leave you when you're at work? I don't know. Maybe they think I'm going to do something to them. But you know, I know, but for real, like any woman, <clears throat> most of the women I meet is like, if you tell the truth to a woman, she gonna get the fuck away from you. Like, if you a nigga who stand on what you say and like all that kind of shit, they, they gonna get away from you. Cause I ain't, I ain't the type of dude that go along with whatever a female say like. So every relationship that you've been in, they've left while you're at work? No, not all of them, but most of them. I mean, I done had to get rid of some chicks, but like, they ain't doing what they supposed to do, but mm -hmm. but a lot of times they'll leave. Like, are you abusive? No, I hit you, I hit women back though. If you hit me, I hit you back. Okay. So, what is the longest relationship you've ever been in? Um, it's like five years, I guess. Probably the one who who um her daughter called me dad. That was mm -hmm. like the longest one. Mm -hmm. How's the door now? Uh, he eight now. Okay, you still you're still in her life. Yeah, not as much as I should, but you know, holidays and her birthday and stuff, and I call her here now. But I, I I should call a lot, but um, I don't call as much as I should. Why? I don't know. But sometimes when I call like the woman who got like her mama don't got her, so when I call over there, they don't answer the phone or. It just kind of be like a headache trying to keep calling me. Like, they don't want you to talk to her or something. Okay, then here's the solution. Get her a cell phone. They they had got a one, but they still get the phone. Or they'll say, uh, they'll say, well, no, did nobody call her phone? Hmm. Okay. So what do you want to gain out of everything? Out of your move here to Atlanta, and the amount of time that you've been working with these artists and here at the radio station, where do you see yourself in the next like five years? Um, I mean, when I when I first moved to Georgia, though, I really wasn't doing music. I just really started doing it in 2019. So uh, I, I just wanted to really like do like like five albums or something, get a label, and, and push like them artists from Tuscaloosa because it's like a lot of talent there. So. I mean, I don't just want to be an artist and be on the road for a long ass time, but that's what I want. That was the plan, but uh, the only the, the, the accomplishment I only really got, I got a, a call from Dev Jam, and they were asking me what kind of deal I wanted, and that was like a partnership. He was like, I'll call you back, and I ain't hearing that back. And that was the only label that called me. So. Do you reach out to any artists in, in um, Alabama now? Uh, now? I mean, I'm just trying to get my shit going on. I mean, 
I'm just trying to, I'm, I mean, since my team, I'm, my major bounce did pretty good, so right now I'm just cooking some other shit up, a song that I can push for a long time and make that pop off, so that's like the plan. But I ain't reaching out. I mean, I'll reach back out when I really got something to offer them. Or, or I can, like, give them a helping hand. I mean, there's not really much I can do now for them. But you can always point them in the right direction or point them to somebody else that could possibly help them at the current moment. I haven't even got pointed in the right direction, so. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. So, uh, and then, as a matter of fact, it was a chick I was dating. She was like supposed to be this A and R, but she was like basically trying to book me on shows I can get on. She claiming she a celebrity and she begging and getting people shows and shit like that. So I mean, I ain't met the right people yet. So I'm still trying to figure shit out myself. So you've been here since oh nine. I've been here since two thousand and twelve. Hmm. I just started doing it in 2019. I wasn't doing music like the whole time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what I was about to say. I've made a lot of connections. So you're out more than I am, and you guys have more people coming in. So I would think that you would have the right connection, that you would need to pass it on to people back home. I mean, I ain't got no connections. I mean, people can come in here and claim whatever. That don't mean they really connected for real. Or they really want to help you, so I mean, um, you can be connected as you want to be. That I mean, you want to help me, but most people want you to. Most people don't want to help you until you don't need the help no more. That's how I was seeing it. Like, motherfuckers ain't trying to reach out and help you. Cause I, I knew niggas like, matter of fact, um, I ain't gonna say his name, but I, like a person from my hometown, like he owned. Oh no, what's his? Around. No, no, no. What's his name? And like sir? he ain't trying to. What's his name? But it's nobody's job to help you. You get what I'm saying? But what's his name? It don't matter what his name is. Why? You ask me what the name is? It ain't nobody's job to help you. Oh, okay. But people ain't gonna wanna help you until you don't need the help. So I just gotta get to where like I don't need nobody help. And that's when everybody like, oh, you need this, you need that. That's just how it go. Mm -hmm. So, relationship wise, you looking for, you trying to find a relationship? Uh, I, I I put it like it, it's not like I'm trying to rush and find one it's going to come to me but of course I want to have kids and all that but if it just don't happen it don't happen no female relationship like you're how old and you don't have any kids yeah they say that all the time women say that when you're 25 so they be like you ain't got no kids yet yeah what's wrong with you Nothing. I done had um girls. I got a girl. She was she got pregnant with her two twice. They busted. Mm -hmm. uh, miscarriages. Woman like her baby daddy, grandma, uh, mama stressing her out, losing the baby. So you need some stronger sperm. No, they they weak. It ain't mm -hmm. got nothing to do with my sperm. If they stressed out and keep crying three, four times a so week. So you stress out, so every woman that you got pregnant has been stressed out and lost a baby? Uh, no, I mean, abor the abortions and miscarriages, um, I don't know if it's due to stress, but it ain't got nothing to do with my sperm. Mm -hmm. My dad got kids, so. But that doesn't mean And he always say, he said, I'm out. that ain't ours, it's them hoes, man. <laughs> Why do they gotta be hoes? That's what it is. They were well, females, whatever. It, it ain't. It ain't me. It's them. Mm -hmm. All of them. All of them. All of a sudden, have miscarriages. And someone be lying like they pregnant. You, you gotta deal. You deal with. How it. many females have you have actually say that I'm pregnant? I'm pregnant. Never pregnant. Oh, the ones who lied about being pregnant. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I'm not. You know, I don't, I'm not sure. But um, how many times have you lied about being crazy? Never. There's no reason to lie about it. So what? So what you on the dead boys on? I'm on my personal birthday show. <laughs> no, I'm not on the dead boys show.
I'm on, um, I have the birth control. It's called Usher. It's a permanent birth control. It's like in your arm or something? Mm -hmm. It's not. Oh, it's like inside you? It's inside me. It's like my, it's right, I can't, I don't want to describe it. It is, um, it's on my fallopian tube. My fallopian tube, but in order for me to get it removed, I have to get a hysterectomy. To get what? In order for me to get it removed, I would have to get a hysterectomy. So, please don't look it. And what made you get that? I already have three kids that I take care of by myself. Why would I want to bring in another one? And possibly have to take care of that one by myself, too. I'm good. So, I mean, okay. So, if somebody got you pregnant, it was like, hey, if we, I mean, if we know this won't work out, can you just give me the baby? Could you do that? No. So, you want, it won't be all on you? No. Why not? I'm not having no more kids. I'm not having any more kids. I'm good. I don't care if they want another one. I'm not the one. I'm sorry. I'm okay. going to adopt. Okay. My youngest is eight. I'm good. And the oldest is what, 20 or 30? 21. She'll be 22 in October. So you're a grandmother now, right? No, I'm not, because she's nowhere near pregnant. It's coming. No, it's not. Grandma can. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Let's put that, let's put that no, in the air. Yeah, Twins. I'm not, I'm not putting that in nothing. My daughter is not going to have no kids. She doesn't want any kids. <coughs> she's seen birth when she was in the Navy. She was working in the um, Navy hospital. And she called me. She said, Mom, I don't know how you did it three times. I don't want to do it. Um, she got on birth control. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, it is a little different for women, like making connections, because niggas want to fuck them all the time. So that's not it, necessarily true. Most of the time, nine times out of ten, no, it's really not though. And men like really talking to women and having them around. So men like men like doing business with women because women are going to make sure every single thing is taken care of. Everything is taken care of. Women are more, I'm sorry, but women are a lot more organized than men. I'm sorry. Where you, where you get that from? It's a fact. That's not in the Bible, man, so you just, that's your opinion. Because I've seen it, women are a lot more, do you know how many men I do business with that say they rather do business with a female than with a man? Why not? Shit, it's the Me Too, you, you said you had a Me Too situation, right? Yeah. Okay, then, Let's just leave it at that. No, because not all men are like that, though. Why not? You you never came across me like that. I mean, I ain't trying to do business with you. Okay. Plus, you got like you was with hair face, so I couldn't highlight you or nothing. So you know, um... <laughs> you are funny, 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 funny. It ain't like you was single and shit, so. Well, what else? You got any more questions? Let me see. What kind of question should I ask this man, y'all? Because he has really been trying to get at me. Okay. This little hefe situation right here. Oh yeah, so y'all y'all cool? Y'all be like hanging out with you? We cool. Um, I help a little bit with his with his um music, but and that's about it. So I ain't no dating or nothing. No. Yeah, you were never dating him again, or you got divorced and all that? I don't know. Oh, so that's possible. I didn't say that. I, I, I know you didn't. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not answering that question. At the current moment, we're working, and um, he's revamping himself and bringing himself back out. You said what? No, what do you eat hot dogs? No, they smell funny. <laughs> they smell funny. No, I'm just saying my burps smell funny. When you smell hot dogs or something? I said, are you eating hot dogs? When you eat hot dogs, one time you be like. No, that's you. That's when you eat hot dogs. I don't eat hot dogs. I don't eat that meat. I don't either. Okay. Only fish, chicken, and turkey. Hmm. That's what you eat? I don't eat turkey and I don't eat fish. I eat chicken and shrimp and salt fish. You eat girls, right? I do. So you eat fish then? I ain't got nothing to throw to your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, so, um, you know, I've been trying to find somebody to uh, co host. I, I don't know what it is. Like, I can't never, because you know, I got to find somebody pretty for somebody, because you know, that people want to look at. But 
I can't never find nobody. Everybody keep telling me no. Nah. Except some, I done had like probably three females agree, and then when they it's time to come on, they don't show up. So I just like fuck it. We just we gonna run me and ego then. So it's just what it is. Women are funny. They, they ain't no, about that women business. aren't fun. Okay, first of all, Go ahead. women are about their business. First of all, maybe it's not the women. Maybe it's you though. What about me? I don't know. Maybe it's where you came across for them. I don't know. I don't know the other people. How do I come at. across? What's your I opinion said, of me? You are. You are very direct, but you're very nosy with your questions. Mm -hmm. That's not enough to be like, I ain't fucking with it. No, it's it's a little too personal. Some things sometimes. But I get it because you want everybody to know like who you're talking to. But at the end of the day, some things don't need to be said. That's your opinion. No, that's a fact. Some, some things, things don't need to be said. I'm saying <clears throat> everything needs to be said because other people can learn from. Like if somebody want to kill themselves, somebody can learn from that. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever wanted to kill yourself or anything? I did. And why? Over a man? No. Why have you over a man? That's, that really get one of No, I would think I was like 13 years old and I tried to kill myself. <clears throat> well, what? The reason, not tell me. The reason is very personal. He was like raped or something? The reason is very personal. Okay, because that's common. It's, it's like, what is it, like 8 out of 10 girls getting raped and molested or something? That's very true. And it's more common for women to get raped by a family member and then end up in abusive relationships. I've seen it a lot in Georgia, a lot in Georgia. People that I didn't even, I wouldn't even imagine that they've been through half the things and us sharing stories, some of these men are horrible. You said y'all. I said some. Oh yeah, I never did none of that. What's the worst thing you ever done to a female? Um, I don't know, hitting them back ain't wrong, I don't think. If, if somebody hit me, I hit them back, so, um, I guess, uh, I guess it'll be words, I guess. When you tell a woman the truth, they feel like it's abuse, so, um. No, it really depends on what you're saying, how you say it. The truth, the truth is abuse to women. Maybe the way it comes off from you is abuse, but the truth is not always abuse to women. A lot of women actually like to know the truth. I ain't met none. They say that, but every time I tell them the truth, they act like I'm the most <laughs> craziest person they done met, the most evil person, because I tell them the truth. So. Mm. Yeah. They be, they be saying they want to know. Like, it's a girl, it's a, it's a matter of fact, it's a girl saying something about me, right? So, I brought something up to her, so I was like, yeah, uh, um, uh, uh, it was like a diet pill commercial came on. So I was like, yeah, so would you would you take that um, to lose weight or whatever? And she took that as me being wrong. But she, you know, they'll say shit like that, so I don't see what the, what the deal is. Okay. If you be honest with them and open, like you, you have to find and find and faith and shit like that, then they'll, they'll gravitate towards you. Okay. But I mean, they 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 claim they want that real shit, but when they get it, it's not what they really want. So. And you hit back all of the women that you've been with. Of course, the only person you can't hit it back is your mama. So, so every so, woman that you've been with, there's been a situation where you hit them back. Now, I've been a couple who don't do that shit. It's a couple. You see they be like here. real, they be real cool. Are and, you but, very controlling and demanding in your relationship? No, I mean, if I want you to clean up and cook, that ain't demanding, is it? No, but it's also the way you say it, possibly, or depending on her schedule during daytime, like you both can clean up. No, nah, if I'm working 60 hours. Matter of fact, this, okay, let me give you this story, right? It was this girl, she was like, if I met a guy who pay all the bills, 
I wouldn't have a problem. I wouldn't have a problem with cleaning up behind him and cooking and cleaning. So I'm paying all the bills, and it was it became an issue. She was like, "Yeah, why aren't you cleaning up, boy? You can't cook." I was like, "We agreed. You said you wouldn't. It wouldn't be no issue if I didn't cook or clean." But when they get it, it's like, "No, nah, you nigga, you need the help." So what's wrong with helping clean up after yourself? I ain't saying nothing was wrong with it, I just don't want to do it. Why? Because I work a lot. So when I, if I work 60 hours a week, who the fuck want to be cleaning up? On top of me promoting, doing this show, and all I, I, I had another job, I quit it though, but doing all the shit I do, I don't be want to do that shit. I just want somebody else to do it. That was lazy. I guess that's why I work so much lazy. Yeah. No, I mean, like, domestic-wise, it's, like, just being lazy. Like, you don't want to, like, my kids, I tell my kids, you don't want to clean up your mess, don't make the mess. You don't want to clean up your mess, don't make your mess. And stop hitting back on people. Just let them hit me and call the police. You know, you just walk away. So how many, how many times are you supposed to do this? Why are you guys in a situation where you where somebody keep putting their hands on each other. Just walk away. Matter of fact, I had a girl, um, if I was liking girls' uh, pictures on Instagram, that could cause her to hit me. What kind of chicks you messing with? Lonely tones. They be grabbing your shirt like, this nigga don't be motherfucking playing on me. And that's when you like, you, you, I let them slide because I'm like, you don't know who the fuck I am, so I'm gonna let that shit slide. So. I'm, don't do that shit no more. And they do it again. That's when you like, come on, man. I, I can't keep letting you hit me like that. So, wait. So, you get with females. You get with insecure females. You and secure, huh? I am very secure. I'm not going to sit here and hand nobody up when I'm liking no pictures on Instagram. That makes no sense. So, you get with insecure females. Yeah. They have low self esteem, and then you end up putting your hands on them because they snap at you and you feel that you have to hit them back. No, they hit me. Ain't no snapping. Snapping is like, fuck you, motherfucker. They're snapping, but I'm talking about they hit me. Like, slapping. And... So, you like insecure females? No, men really don't pick females. The woman pick you, so this is like if I wanted you, it's up to you to be like, I'm fucking with you. Men don't pick their women, y'all pick us, right? It depends. Unless you're super successful, you get you get to pick whatever you want, but you a, a regular working nigga, like you don't really get to pick women like that. They pick you. No. What, what, what am I wrong with you? Because regular working people, like I had an ex that was a regular working man, he picked me. You still said, I, I'm fucking with you, because you could have said no, right? I said no a couple times, but he was very persuasive. <coughs> What's persuasive? He just kept doing romantic little gestures, and they just tried to call his attention. And oh, well, how did he do this? He was around you all the time? No. Sending flowers to my job. Where you work at? My house. <laughs> 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 no, this was um I used to be a floor designer in New York. So my ex husband, my, my first husband actually, he literally tried to court me like for two straight months. I told him no. I told him no nonstop. What was wrong with you? Nothing. I was just in grind mode and I didn't want to be bothered. But I was with. And it's usually when God is sending you the person, but you don't pay him no attention. Mm, okay. Depends. How many people in your life? As far as four. Hey guys, and they're all cursing you out. Every last one. Of them. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, if a girl smell funny, do you still eat the box or you be like, oh, no, you stay? No. Why? You, I'm saying some women, you know how uh, no. women have a pheromone smell? Mm -hmm. That's you know what the shower's for. Take a shower, take a bath, 
You might put my mouth on nothing that stinks. Male or female, I'm sorry. Ain't gonna happen. Well, you tell them. Yes, I tell them. Have you bet me? <laughs> I tell them. I ain't got to be around you. That's what I'm asking. So, um, <clears throat> so how long is your hair? Because I ain't never seen you without um, your hair. Would you take that off? No, I would not. Um, I like to see you without it. Cause, um, you see me without it? My picture on the flyer is me without it. Oh, with the black hair? Mm-hmm. I can't really tell. Mm, sorry. Mm. Well, <laughs> ego didn't make it in. Um, as a matter of fact, we were supposed to, tomorrow, supposed to come at 7 30, and I ain't making it in. But... Okay, y'all, so y'all gonna sit here and what? say hello to my life. What's up? None of them like you right now. Oh, Kim, but she pretty as hell, man. I'm glad she came through. You know what I'm saying? I can admire her beauty. You get what I'm saying? So nobody in her life shouldn't hate me because I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't lied to her about shit, you feel me? I'm a real one. So, niggas don't like the real one. Like, like niggas be lying, faking the fine. What, why you doing all that? What, what's, what, what's up, what? Nothing. What, they, they, say, they said something? Oh, my life, they always gonna say something. <laughs> okay, so uh, when me and you gonna go out, Kim? Whoa, pause. Let's, let's go out on a date or something. What? Let's go on a date or something. For what? So I can court you like your ex husband. Okay, so you cannot court me like my ex husband? That's a no no. I don't, think, I don't think anyone has ever courted me like my ex husband did. But no, no dates. Okay, I always shoot my shots. So you shoot your shot with everybody? No, not with everybody. Just on my life, you know. Mm. I got a cold or something, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> ain't nothing wrong with shooting. You can't hit nothing you don't shoot at. You feel me? I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was uh, a good try. It was a good try. It was a good try. Okay, so um, I guess call out your handles and. Say what you do. Like, how, how can you help an artist if they get at you? Um, okay, my name is Kami T. You can find me on all platforms. K-A-M-I underscore T-E-E. I do marketing. I do promotions. I do hosting. I do management, artist development. I can, if I'm not able to help the artist, I can definitely point them in the direction of the right person to help them with the career. With a fee or just cause you just like them? Just cause, that's why, actually my um, my fan base has actually grown because I'm the type where, if an artist comes to me like, hey, I mean, well, I need management or I need this, I need that, but I only have this amount of money. I only have this amount of money. I don't have this legal budget to pay the management fees every month. So can you help me along? What are the management fees? Some of them start like 500 a month. And then, depending on what else, what else, what else you need or what else you want, then it just goes higher. <coughs> so, what do you get for all that? Who me? Yeah. What if I gave you five hundred for a month? Like, what what would you be able to do for me? Um, set up radio <coughs> promos. Um, In the or like your family. Both. Um, help them with club appearances, their shows, studio times, everything that nature. So you got to get an artist on the radio? Mm -hmm. How much it costs? Mm, depends on which network they want. 94. Mm, not sure yet. 1079. I'm not impressed with 1079. What do, what do you know? The one for um, Radio Connect with Ray Daniels. With Jay Harris. It's, um, it's, it's, FM? FM, it's FM and he also has internet also. So, um, yeah, you should do like a price list or something. I have it. You should have brought I have multiple. I have multiple ones. Mm. Show me the price list. I'd like to know that. Can you? Show you the price list? Yeah. 
know, you can pick and choose what you're trying to do, so. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You want me to email your price list? Yeah, do that. That's fine. Do something productive with yourself. Who you? Pause. Something productive with myself? I'm always productive. Yeah. So we gonna have you back, right? Who would you like to have me back? But next time you have me back, don't just ask me extra personal questions. Because, <laughs> because I basically tell people about myself when I'm ready. We wanna know what we wanna know more than what you were gonna tell. Oh, I've told people more than what you've heard today. Honestly. Give me something that um, you told me that I, I don't know. <sighs> no, nah, because you've asked enough personal questions. Like, you even asked about abortions and everything. Like, What's wrong with that? Ain't nobody's business what goes on in my inside. Your man, right? Yeah, you, 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 so the, 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 um, your man's supposed to know uh, this is all your business. No, if, if the question comes up. Then I have no problem answering it for him. Okay, so like, um, if, if I was dating you, right, if I asked you how many abortions, is that too much? No. Okay. If, so if I asked you how many dudes you did, that's too much if you're dating? No. Okay, that's what's up. So you tell everything? Yeah, because I feel like you have to be honest and you have to be open because you don't want somebody else to tell you something that your spouse could have told you. So you blew to the punch. Okay, one, one more question. How many artists have you dated um, since you've been doing this? One. That's it? That's it. Okay. Yeah. Did you sprung? No. Oh, you didn't? No, wasn't sprung. Okay. You're funny. Because we, 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 you're funny. Because why <laughs> did I have to be sprung, though? Cause I thought he put it on you or something. So why do I have to be strong? Oh, you put it on him. I can just switch it around. Yeah, you put it on him. No, we just had a very good relationship. Like, I'm a peaceful person. I like to get the person peace. I need some peace, man. Go get you some crystals. <laughs> <laughs> you want some peace? Go to the Botanical. Get you some crystals. Get you some candles. See that? So, um, <laughs> I guess him being with me was different because, like, my children are, like, very well-mannered and, like, I could be in my room for, like, two, three days. You won't even know my kids on. Oh, so if, if I was in your room for three days, I wouldn't know they was out there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't hear them at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll probably hear them arguing or fighting at like two, three o'clock in the morning, and then they go right back in their room. But I mean, my house is like my sanctuary and my peace because we deal with so much extra craziness outside. You have to have that one place where you just come and collect your thoughts. Okay, I need some of that peace, though. You know what I'm saying? I told you, be Botanica. Be <laughs> <laughs> Botanica, boy. Change your life. I'm gonna do like your ex say something to you every time I see you until you uh, say, I'm gonna fuck with Bob. He, he good people. I can do that, right? I can say something sweet to you, like, hey. Um, it depends on how nice you are, because I haven't seen you being be too nice. You all. said I was nice the last time. You was like, I thought it was a friend. You nice. Mm -hmm. So now I ain't nice no more. After this conversation, nah. <laughs> After this conversation, I feel all the way set up. Really? You feel set up for real? Mm -hmm, I do. It's okay. You, you watch my interviews. Like, you know all the questions I'll be asking. Mm -hmm. So I don't see. So you thought it was going to be different? I just didn't think you were going to bring up. I don't even know why I didn't think you were going to bring that up. Never mind. Yeah, that's, that's what mind. I do, right? Never mind. I be want people to speak their mind. If they think somebody will fuck nigga, say it. You know what I'm saying? Speak your piece or whatever you got going on. I mean, want people to, you know what I'm saying? I want my shit to be different because everybody asks you the same shit anyway, so. But you write down your questions. Your interview should be like more off the top of your head. I'm not a good freestyler, so if I know I'm not good at that, I'm not going to do it. 
It's just like I can't go in the booth and just freestyle some shit, so I can't freestyle no interview. And most people I see do it, they shit really don't be that good. So I don't write down questions. I, I ain't never seen one in the interview. Matter of fact, send me a link to one so I can see how good you are. So you want me to freestyle my shit. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to teach you because I'm not going to teach you. Just give me some advice. Because um, with my interviews, a lot of people will say, well, what kind of question going to ask? It's just a regular like conversation no between... Shit. Because I try to get them to relax a little bit, so that way they can open up a little bit more. But you know, it, like all, most of the people, like ninety five percent of the people, they be like, "Man, this is one of the best interviews I've ever had. You really opened me up." So if I'm getting that kind of feedback, and even Jamar, like uh, CK, like, "Man, do what you do, boy. This is like the best show we got." So if I'm doing that, then I gotta be doing some right. Okay. You think? Okay. And not ask people about the about abortion. That's what I do. I'm just saying. That's what I do. That's I why I say you know, That's why I say if I ask you something, I'll answer. That's why. How I many questions did like, I answer? I don't know, like five. How many did you answer? Shit, like twenty five, probably. <laughs> <laughs> about twenty five. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, hold on, somebody hit me. No, that's me. Oh, that's your interview? I want to, you, you got an interview with you and the person in the camera, or you just got it on you? Um, at the current moment, the one that I'm showing you is the one that I have my name. That's in my I want to see the other person. The other ones are on YouTube. You have to hold on. Okay, so, um, if we're going to have you back, you know what I'm saying? You're going to talk about your abortions and, um, no, I'm not going to talk about my gonna let me take you out on a date and the mm. shit just gonna go swell you feel me you hear this we we gonna put that in the air so you hear this? next time she gonna hit, be here she gonna be like i'm in love with bud that nigga that nigga is that nigga Ooh. i should have been fucked with him we put that in the air so that's you what can, happen. you know what speak things into existence for sure it's not always gonna happen for sure but as long as you have that faith that's all that matters <laughs> I'm putting it in your brain. You gonna sleep on that? <laughs> okay, so um, I guess we're gonna be out of here, man. I, mean, I guess I'm gonna find something to go out. On. I don't think I got uh, your baby daddy music on here. Um, my, my baby daddy music. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. What do you? Hefe. I don't think his music on here. But I guess we just gonna leave out on. Um, let me see. <laughs> Uh, snake pit, I guess, and I'll see y'all next time.